Welcome to another episode of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this episode, we'll be addressing malaria and diving. Keep watching. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with a diver who's asking about information regarding malaria and specifically because they want to be diving in Villanculos and want to know whether they would be at risk. Now, I can only give you broad strokes information when it comes to malaria and essentially it comes down to fairly simple principles. First of all, for individuals who are divers, and with that we automatically exclude children under the age of 12 and pregnant women, for whom malaria tablet selection is a big deal. So we're talking about individuals who do not have concerns with pregnancy and are above the age of 12, which essentially means they're adults. For these individuals, there are two essential medications that we consider in most malaria areas. The one is the combination of atovaquin and proguanol or doxycycline. Now, atovaquin and proguanol is a more expensive tablet, but it has the advantage of essentially killing the organism or the parasite and therefore only needs to be taken up to seven days after you've left the malaria area. In the case of doxycycline, you need to take it up to four weeks after leaving the malaria area. Now the danger with most malaria areas is that there is a prevalence of falciparum malaria and falciparum malaria within a period of seven days can literally within less than 48 hours give you cerebral malaria that will kill you. And for that reason, when people have the risk of being exposed, we are very, very uh, ready to recommend that they take malaria prophylaxis and with that we don't only mean the tablets we mean the coils the nets the long sleeve shirts not going out at night and all those recommendations they still hold even if you are covered to an extent with chemo prophylaxis the important thing to remember here though is that if you're diving in an area that isn't specified then we usually refer you either to the DAN website and if you can't get information there you can usually do one of two things you can either contact the CDC for information as to where and which areas bearing in mind that air-conditioned rooms and areas uh, such as in near resorts, airports, etc., may have a lower chance of giving you a risk of contracting malaria than being out in the bush. And the second thing would be to ask the people who actually live there. But we are very concerned if there is a risk of contracting malaria for you to have no protection whatsoever. That being the case, we recognize that people who are in a endemic malaria area for a period of two years, etc., they can't keep taking malaria tablets indefinitely. And so what there is, is there is sort of a malaria rapid test and also a rapid rescue pack that consists of coartum. And so people can do a blood test which are usually readily available and if there's any chance that they aren't you should take them with you and secondly if there is any doubt and that means flu-like symptoms even gastric symptoms you should basically presume that you have malaria and rather take those tablets as prescribed 
as we're saying, those are not prophylactic tablets, those are treatment tablets. And if you are treating yourself with possible malaria, that is not a time to go diving. So if you have symptoms that are suggestive of malaria, take treatment as if you have malaria. That is far less dangerous than waiting and seeing whether you will exacerbate or get worse symptoms. So rather treat yourself as if you have malaria and don't dive and then when you get back home have proper assessment as to whether you had malaria or not. I hope that that gives you the information that you need but you should be able to just use a regular search engine and look at Divers Alert Network malaria and recommendations in terms of prevention and treatment. There are YouTube clips that I myself have made that cover this topic so you should not have any difficulty getting more information and I refer you to those. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope that that addresses all your concerns.